When AMD announced the naming and specs of their lineup of Ryzen Threadripper CPUs, immediately our writing team knew exactly what had to be done. Really guys, 1920X for the step down flagship? I mean, that's just irresponsible. So we grabbed Nvidia's step down flagship GPU and set out to build the ultimate 1920 by 1080 gaming PC. Wait, what? You don't get it? Come on, even Nvidia gets it. Synergy allows you to share your mouse and keyboard between multiple computers at once. Check it out now at the link in the video description. So the basis of this entire build is a post on Reddit borrowed from a YouTube comment somewhere. Obviously, building a full HD gaming system out of an $800 12-core processor, a $550 motherboard, and a $500 graphics card is stupid for a fair number of reasons. But full transparency here, guys, we love stupid. And the last time we pandered to Reddit, we ended up with two and a half million views on a gaming PC that barely worked at all. So this one was a no-brainer. Now, it wouldn't be Linus Tech Tips if the build didn't start with some random ass problems that we couldn't have predicted. Jake ended up spending three hours just trying to get our Asus Zenith Extreme motherboard to post because one of the Torx mounting screws on the socket itself had loosened, as if by magic. So the CPU was being safely and securely held down just above the damn contact pins. I mean, who looks for something like that? Further complicating matters, the Define R5 that we originally planned to build in couldn't contain the sheer girth of this board. And thanks to our recent mezzanine construction and organization overhaul, basically every case had been moved into our new and improved long-term storage area that was full of poisonous fumes from spraying the walls. So the only cases left in the warehouse were Fractal's Core 3500 and the Mercury S8 from 7Gamers 1 CPU that happened to be already set up for wider than average dual socket server motherboards. So I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Case Labs for the win. For RAM, Jake made the only logical decision here and decked out our config with the full complement of eight times eight gigabytes of Trident Z RGB memory from G-Skill. I mean, come on, you think regular RAM was gonna suffice for a troll build? Nah. <sighs> Installing a 12 core 24 thread processor into the TR4 socket is actually a pretty satisfying process. And once everything was set up, Jake was able to use our Zenith Extreme board to push our Threadripper 1920X up to four gigahertz on all cores at around 83 degrees Celsius under load. Any higher than that and it would crash almost instantly. This could be a limitation of just Zen core overclocking in general, but hardware info reported a cool 240 watts of power draw for the CPU. So the limitation could also be just a matter of the chip not being able to get more power, even with the dual eight pin EPS connectors. This thing is crazy. To achieve that cooling result, we ended up with a Corsair H100i V2, which shockingly, with its dual 120 millimeter fans on a radiator, was barely enough to tame this beast. Then, to give us the best chance of success, we applied an ample amount of icy diamond thermal compound. We're going to have to ask them for another bin of this stuff, because we're not crazy. This is actually how AMD recommends to apply it. The Corsair RM1000X is just the right amount of overkill for modern systems, so you'll probably keep seeing that until Corsair comes out with an RGB version or something. And while sadly we weren't able to get cable mod cables here in time and had to make do with the stock ones, RGB was not forgotten. And thanks to the Zenith's dual ARA RGB headers and cable mod wide beam RGB strips, the entire system is RGB synced from the RAM to the sleek underglow. Jake was so astonished by the plethora of diseases that he contracted from all the RGB that he almost forgot to put in fans. So at the last minute, he finished up with EK Vardar fans to match the industrial look of our Mercury S8. And huzzah, it boots, almost like it was all tested before assembly. So then, to answer your guys' question, how does the ultimate 1920 by 1080 build perform? 
Well, the only responsible thing to do is start our testing at 720p maximum details. As you can see here, overspending on the CPU and skimping on the GPU is punishing us already. Deus Ex Mankind Divided only managed 38 frames per second because, well, maxed out, like really maxed out, that's a very demanding game. Moving right to the other end of the spectrum, 4K gaming performance was, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know, how do I put this, a poop parade, a feces festival, a diarrhea demonstration, you get it, point, it was a sh show. So then stepping down to 1440p, there's, well, there's no surprises here. 4K was terrible. 720p was terrible. I mean, what were you expecting for something in between? Like, why are you even still watching this? Are you are you honestly waiting for the 1920 by 1080 results? What do you think they're gonna be? Like, why? You know what? Forget it. I'm just not even gonna show them. It's all unplayable anyway when you max out the settings. So the only thing we learned was a valuable lesson about optimizing your games and bottlenecking. Something that could have been achieved in less time by watching this episode and this episode of Tech Quickie. There are a hundred reasons for wanting multiple computers at your desk. Maybe you're a, a Mac person primarily, but you need a non-virtualized Windows environment for some reason. Synergy solves the problem of having to have two keyboards and two mice for two or more separate computers. You can share one set of peripherals so you'll no longer get confused and the whole thing is seamless. You just Drag the mouse from one screen to another. We're talking PC, Mac, and even Linux support. They offer a basic and pro option for Synergy with a one-time payment and features include advanced stuff like clipboard sharing between computers, dragging and dropping files between computers, the ability to set up hotkeys and more. So use our link in the video description to get 50% off Synergy today. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.